Hello, I'm Brittany, Marketing Coordinator here at Screencastify, and today I want to talk to you about how to build a video resume. This is true when it comes to any video that you're creating. One of the most important things is that the space needs to be well lit, clean background, and you're going to want the space to be quiet so that your voice is the voice the audience is hearing and they can hear you very clearly. So once you have your space, you're going to start your video by introducing yourself. Keep your introduction brief. Use a confident, friendly tone, professional tone, especially in a video resume, and use very specific language to your field. A great example of this is, hello, my name is blank, and I am a highly motivated sales professional with over five years of experience in the technology industry. I'm excited to apply for the account manager position at X company. I believe that my skills in relationship building and problem solving will be a really valuable asset to you and your company. Once you've made a strong introduction, you want to move into talking about your specific skill set. And you're going to want to make sure that the words that you're using are relevant to the job that you're applying to. Be as specific as you can. Make sure that these are impactful skills and experiences that you want your employer to know about. And when possible, make sure they are quantifiable. A really great example of this is I led a team that increased email open rates by 20% and click through rates by 30% through targeted segmentation and personalized efforts. We have more examples of this on our blog. While you're speaking through these skills and throughout your video, make sure that you're showing your personality. Of course, your professional personality, but use words like I have a passion for that are really going to demonstrate to your employer that you have a passion for the field and that you have excitement around the position. A really great way to quantify all of this is to share your work. And you can do this by recording your screen and showing any data that is relevant for the role and the positions that you're applying for. If you're in the marketing field, showing content that you've created emails or social media content so that you can really demonstrate to your audience that you have skill set that is relevant to the position, to the company, and to the role. Something I definitely recommend, even if you have been recording video for a while, is to practice filming. I've done this for this video today. You want to make sure that you're not coming off too nervous. You want it to feel quite natural, like you're having a conversation with someone on the other end. And if you're not used to recording yourself or hearing yourself, that can feel a little unnatural. So send it over to a friend after you've given it a couple tries and get some feedback that you can uh, really put into place when talking on camera. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this today. Make sure you check out our blog for all the details and we'll talk to you soon.